What's up, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna take a look at the Light Rakshasa Peng. We took a look at her a long time ago, but we have not taken a look at her recently. So let's take a look, let's see what she does, let's see if she's ruined. Uh, when she's waking, she gets extra accuracy. Uh, I have her ruined on speed, crit damage, attack, swift blade. I was going for speed, attack, crit damage, crit rate on her, and accuracy. Uh, for, because that's what her attack is. Her attack is based on her speed. Speed here, uh, speed here does speed break and continuous damage, which is nice against bosses. Uh, like giant speed 10, stuff like that. Cool whip passive elongates the harmful effect on the enemy for one turn. Damage increased by 30% if the enemy's HP is below 50%. Okay. Extra damage if the enemy's HP is below 50%. Nice. Alright, and we get the leader skill. The crit rate leader skill, what do we have here? Nothing? Okay. As, as usual, let's test her out in... Let's test her out her damage, let's test her out in the Hall of Light and other stuff as well. Hall of Magic, Hall of Light, Giants, and Necropolis. Not really dragons, because I don't really see her being... I mean, like, you could put her in dragons, but there's just better, there's better spots. Uh, anyway, let's test her out here, let's bring Galleon. Let's bring, let's do with and without a speed buffer. I know you're like, oh, you wrangle this one again. Oh my god. Without without speed buffer. Because her damage is based on speed though. So, more speed buffer is gonna be better. More speedies. More speedies is gonna be better. Oh, she's too fast for Galleon. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. First skill 34k. And nice that you fell asleep. Okay. Second skill 43. Okay. There's some without it. I mean, she hits okay. She hits okay, not bad. And you can ruin her for speed, and you don't have to worry as much about attack power. Speed, crit damage, uh... Speed, crit rate, crit damage overall. Uh, and still try to... I mean, like, still try to get attack, but... Uh, you don't have to worry. Like, some monsters, you're like, I want to ruin them for damage. Like, Lucian, you're like, okay, attack, crit damage, attack for most damage output. But then you lack speed, and then, like, ah, oh, this one, you're like, okay. Well, I could just ruin her for speed. I think she could be used in Guild Wars. We don't have any Guild Wars right now, but I think we're... How, how could we use her in Guild Wars? How could we use her in Guild Wars? We could do something like... Um, we could use her, like, in place of Theomars. We could use... Because she's got the crit rate leader skill. We could use this. We could use... The only thing is, like, if you use this with... Where's Jasun? Where's Jasun? You could use something like this. And have a fast Orion. She goes next. Or, I mean, fast Orion, right? Orion goes harmless prank. Uh, Chasun goes next. She will attack buff Pang. And then, oh, the only thing, the only problem with that though is then there's no speed buff. She benefits from a speed buff too. But you could, you could do something like that. You could do something like that. You could do something like, um, what else? This as well. This way she's got an attack buff too, and a defense break, and she's gonna- whoever's- whoever's defense broken, maybe defense broken and stun both, she's going to elongate the harmful effect, so she's gonna elongate the stun, she's gonna elongate the defense break too. Interesting. Let's take her, uh, let's go back here, let's take her with, uh, this speed buff as well, because we're gonna do more damage with the speed buff. And the speed leader skill too. We don't have a speed leader skill, but I'm saying, if she did have a speed leader skill... Okay, we did 16. Let's see, first skill, 42k. We did 40, uh, we did 40 and change with the second skill last time. Oh, she doesn't have the, she doesn't have the, uh, the attack buff anymore, no. I mean, the speed buff is what I meant, okay. Alright, 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 alright. Speed buff, attack buff, <laughs> speed buff, second skill. Second skill, let's test out the second skill on the Sandman. No defense break on the Sandman, no! No defense, this is going so well tonight. Going so well tonight. Going so well, man. Doing A plus quality video. I did a, I was recording already and I can't use it. Ah, don't you love that? I think that's, I think that's the most time consuming thing that people don't see about like, when you're doing YouTube videos, like, when the recording doesn't go as planned, and you're like, oh, I can't use this. 
All right, let's see how the uh, and then that takes up half the time Maybe sometimes even more time than the actual filming of the video that you guys see 50,000 okay Good, we just ended up. It's not optimal, Jubeka. You're losing out on the crappy rune that you're gonna get from there. I, I'm, I'm so, I'm so upset by the <laughs> losing out on the crappy rune. All right, uh, let's take this in with a. I guess we'll still use double Lucian, Sure, we'll do that. We'll do like maybe we'll do we'll we'll try this team. Sure, this way we get the speed buff and everything. We'll try it, we'll see how, how she does here. And then we'll try a different team, we'll try like a more beginner... Beginner style, uh, Giant Speed 10. We'll try, we'll try with like Dots, we'll try like with Veramos and Akemir and, and them Dots. Cause she puts Dots on, she puts Speed Break on, and then she elongates the uh, harmful effects. So it should be pretty nice. Should be. But she's moving, she's moving too fast. She's moving before Galleon. Galleon, for, for any damage, for any YOLO nuke uh, style dungeon teams, Galleon should be moving first before the damage dealers. Four turn attack break! Damn! Five turn attack break, three turn defense break, oh my god. That's so weird to see. That's so weird to see. So weird to see a five turn attack break, okay. 57, eh, not bad, not bad. All right, so let's go. Let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have. We have Veramos. I'm pretty sure he's got runes now. Okay, he's got runes. We'll take, what else do you youngsters like to use in your, <laughs> you youngsters like to use in your Giants V10 teams? He's, I changed him. He's a changed man. Do you like to use Theomars? Is that what you like to use? I don't know what you like to use! Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think Bella, I think you guys are using Bella, right? I think some of you are using Bella. So let's use Bella. Amazing music, oh my god. So Bella's got a defense break, that's the only thing she really brings to the table. Let's do this though, let's do this. Oh my god, such epic music, guys! I got a new computer. It's not. We're not. We're not watching it though. We're not. It, we're not using it. But <laughs> it's down here. It's gonna take a while to put together and everything, and I have to transfer all the stuff over to the new one. But I did. I did get it. I. I did get it. Oh. <sighs> now I have a hernia. No, I'm, the, the hernias are no laughing matter. They're not clowns. And I'm just kidding about the hernia. Oh, Bella. I think you should give Bella a defense break. <laughs> There's no amount of accuracy on Bella and Galleon that is enough accuracy. You could put like 200% accuracy. You could put like accuracy on slot six and three sets of focus runes, and then 20% accuracy sub everywhere, and just do like, I know it doesn't matter, because you can only cap at 100%, but like, you can just keep, it doesn't matter. Just no amount of accuracy that is enough accuracy for Bella or Galleon. No amount. No amount, okay. Not bad, not bad time, so far. We'll see, I wanna see if uh, it does anything crazy here. Gonna do anything crazy, girl? You crazy nonsense! Oh, she's gonna put those. She's gonna make those dots stronger. I mean, longer. I mean, longer, stronger. Wait, did he? Re did he resist the dot time? Okay, now look at all those three, four, four. I mean, three, 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 four. That's what I meant. I can't do math. Not bad. We're killing him before it even really matters, though. <laughs> We're killing him before it even matters. All right, 145. Let's try our Necropolis. Really, she's not Ren, though. She's not Ren. I want to try a Necropolis, but she's not Ren. See, here's the thing with Ren. 
why, she, why Rand is better for Necropolis. Because she's skilled up, first of all. Uh, decrease the attack bar. Decrease it, attacks enemy four times. Four times decreasing the attack bar by 30% with a 75% chance. Guaranteed to stun if the enemy's attack bar is depleted. Uh, I just think she's better for Necropolis because that multi-hit third skill. So, I mean, we'll, tr we'll, tr we'll try her. We'll try her. What else are you kids using for Necropolis? Let's see if we can try. Let's see if we can find other stuff for Necropolis instead of just the normal stuff. Lucian, the liches. Let's use Theo, right? Because you guys like to use Theo for some reason. And Necropolis. Uh, we have plenty of speed break. We have plenty of speed break. Okay, we should be good. We have one healer. And I took her off Violent Revenge. I, she's still on Revenge, but she's not on Violent anymore. She's on weird stuff, man. She's on weird stuff. Weird, weird stuff. So. And Theo Mars is, if you guys are, like, uh, more early game, new to the game. Theo Mars, my Theo Mars looks different because of, uh, World, uh, Arena. It was, like, a special transmog from the first season if you got a certain rank. So. That's why he's got a weird looking Theo Mars nonsense. That's why you guys just got random, like, glowing bones coming out of his butt. He does, he has glowing butthole bones. Wow. I never noticed that's what it was. Attack break, speed break, okay. But I still think the dark one is better for this. I still think this is her multi-hit skills. But the speed break is is really, you need that. Multi-hits and speed break you need for Necropolis. Need. Necesito. Yo necesito es speedy, speedy breako. <laughs> speedy breako. That's not a word, that's not a Spanish word, it's speedy breako. I'm pretty sure it's not a Spanish word. Yo soy es poopy butts. <laughs> Oh my god, no more, no more speak Spanish, no more speak Spanish, a stupid old American. Uh. Alright, so he's dead first time. Nope, I mean this is the team that we use anyway. I love these liches in Necropolis, they're the best. If you don't have the dark lich, that's fine, you could use the, you know, water and wind or whatever. But it's just that they have that speed break, they have all those multi-hit skills. It makes them so good. Well, I don't think it was a bad time. Yeah, it was under two minutes. Not, not a bad time, not a bad time. But again, the Liches is what makes it a good team. So, and I don't even have... I just switched Colleen and it did not impact. I think it actually made some things better. By putting dumb stuff on her. Really. Really, really. Actually, I can just show you guys. I can show you guys in here too. What else did I want to use her in? Like, what is this? This, I mean, good speed sub, right? Good speed sub. Speed here, like just a good overall rune. But I'm like resistance, defense, HP. What the hell am I gonna use this for? It's a good rune, but fatal. Okay, like this is a good rune, but what am I gonna use that for? Like they make sense on her. So just good overall stats. She's plus 117. She's got good defense, she's got good HP, so... Her accuracy is lacking, seriously. Her resistance is good, but her accuracy is seriously lacking. Her ac I, I, she needs a lot more accuracy. A lot more. So I gotta, like, grind for accuracy or something. I gotta- this rune can be changed. This rune can be changed to something that has more accuracy. This, maybe I can change things... things around. But... Yeah, I, ch I changed it because I'm like, man, it's v everyone needs violet runes. So I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna have my best violet runes on Colleen. Really, or do I just try to get good stats on her and not have her? And I really, it it, it works. It works for for Necropolis. It's kind of better to have her on violet, but I've been just using her mostly in raids right now. So and she works in Necropolis. I have so many multi hits. She works in Necropolis. What else are we gonna do? What else are we gonna do? What else? Are we gonna where else can we use her? I'm trying to think where else we can use her. Uh, we could use her in uh, Guild Wars, but it's Sunday, so I can't use her in Guild Wars today. Damn you, what a monkey. Plus, we need to be a little slower for Guild Wars because we need her to be 
Like we need to at least, if we're gonna use her with like Chasun or something, she needs to be at least, Chasun needs to be faster than her, so. Kinda tricky if she's like 130, uh, 230 speed almost. 229 speed. So. Kinda tricky to have Chasun on Violent faster than a Swift monster. Not that she's got the best, you know, fastest Swift ever, but. Uh, where else can she be used? Where else can she be used? I'm trying to think. Okay, what, what, what else is in the game? Arena. Not really defense or offense, I wouldn't use her in Arena. World Arena. You could use her in World Arena. You could use her. That's pretty... She's. I've, I've seen someone that did a... Like a funsies battle with me on one of the... One of the streams or something. And then uh, and they were using her. And it was pretty fun. They used a control strategy. And they were using her to just keep prolonging the uh, harmful effects. Which is pretty nice. I think they used a hybrid version of her. But I'm not positive. Uh, TOA, she's a single target monster though. I didn't even fit, I didn't even keep doing TOA. Oh, I gotta get that Delmon. Oh my god. I forgot that I forgot. I guess when I'm done with the video, I'm gonna go do TOA hard now. Damn. Uh, Rift of Worlds. I think she'd be good for R5. We'll try her in R5, and then I think I'm just gonna maybe run R5. Giants, Dragons. Oh, Hollow Magic. Yeah, let's use her for Hollow Magic. Sure. Sure, let's do it. Let's use that same. Beginner team. And then I'm gonna go run Hall of Magic tomorrow and be like, what the hell? What was I doing? What was I doing? Oh, Galleon's not a beginner monster. What am I doing? What am I doing? We use like the Theomars. Some beginners have Theomars, right? Theomars should make it uh, decently fast, I think. There we go. Oh my god, we're trying to put everyone to sleep? Damn! Hands up, this is gonna be a good one. Alright. I think, honestly, I think Hua is a little bit more useful. Uh. I just do, and you could use you could use her for R five, but I think Hua is just a little bit more useful overall. The World Arena is interesting though for her, but I don't know what kind of strategy. I, I I don't know where I would put her in my World Arena team, but I might try her. I might try her. I might I might do another video of her in World Arena. There's a lot of times like in nuke strategies. You're like killing them before, before the dots tick away. Anyway, nowadays, but maybe early game if you don't have enough damage and you have just the dots. Look at those dots! Like it's just fun to see five turn dot, six turn dot. Like oh my god, <laughs> this is just fun to see. Well, we did too much damage anyway, and she does more damage. Like with the passive, she does more damage uh, when the boss's HP is below. Uh, 30, 50%, 30, 50, 30, 50%. And I can't use this because this is way too fast of a team. Way too fast of a team. Let's use, sure, let's use her. Why not? Why not? And we'll use Peng. I know you're gonna be like, I don't have passive. You Whatever. I'm just used because it's, it's funny to see it's funny to see debuffs just keep getting more and more and more and stacking up. So and she was already there and I didn't feel like taking her out. <laughs> Lols. I can't wait for the new content, man. I don't know when. I mean, don't hold your breath, right? <laughs> it's come to us. When was the last time they introduced a new uh, three star to the game? February of 2016? What is this nonsense? Children's pray, pray, Playground. Playground? What am I, Bill Cosby? Children's Playground. What am I, Jared from Subway? Children's Playground. Oh, God. Why is that in Electronica and Dance? Why is that in Ele it's, it's, I search for Electronica and Dance. That's the playlist. Children's Playground. Jared from Subway. Okay, enough Jared from Subway jokes. Enough subway jokes. <laughs> not even said this and that. Those were not subway jokes. Okay. 
lols. I just like seeing those debuffs keep going further and further up. Look at that, oh my god. He's got such high defense. I want, can we get to 10? Can we get to like 10 turn defense break? That'd be amazing. 10 turn defense break. Five turn, okay. We're at five. Six. But he's gonna take one off now. He's gonna take one off. Can we get to 10? Can we get to 10? He, like, what can he res- I guess he can resist them. Eight turn defense break. Oh my god. That's insane. Nine turn! Can we get to 10? Can we get to 10? No! More, 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 more! Come on, come on, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it! Oh, it just, it just over- It's 10, it's 10, and it just- The number- Oh my god, we got four that are over 10 turns, and it just goes- It just disappears, the number disappears. Comptos didn't bother even putting in a 10. How lazy, how lazy, how lazy didn't put a 10 in. Cause they're like, no one's gonna do 10 turn defense break. Ah, uh, Jubega will do it. Jubega will do a 10 turn defense break. I, gu I guarantee it. I guarantee he will do a 10 turn defense break. Okay. I didn't- I didn't know that it just didn't have a 10. I'm learning new things today, man. I'm learning new things about the game I didn't even know. What's up, Chaos Beast Kizar Kajul? Let's do this. Let's do this. Mmm, additional placement. What teams do I even have? I don't even know what those are. Okay, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do defense front lines. Okay. Defense, but let's invite some people. Let's invite some people. Actually, let's not invite anyone. Let's do support. Let's do support. Let's do... What do you have? Resistance? No. Resistance? No. Resistance? No. Resistance? No. I think I need resistance. There we go, oh, Varian. Oh, this is gonna be OP. You're not even gonna be able to see how good she is because you're just gonna win too fast. Okay, I'm trying to remember who are my units that I was using last earlier today. Last earlier today. I can't remember day to day, guys. I don't remember any of that nonsense. I think I was using them. Oh, I think I was using, who else was I using? I was using I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you know why didn't I didn't we did I didn't why didn't we didn't okay okay it makes sense I didn't why didn't we didn't we have defense and crit rate leader skill on the first team we have defense resistance and crit rate on the second team it didn't even matter that we used resistance let's kick Barian f him I'm just I'm just kidding Barian. Oh, shots fired! Shots fired, guys! Shots fired! All right, let's try it. Let's see what kind of contribution she does. But she's not on vampire. She's not a hybrid, so she's gonna take a lot of damage. She's probably gonna die pretty quickly. She's probably gonna last at least halfway through the battle, and then she's gonna die. So we'll see. We'll see how good she does. A four turn defense break. Four turn glancing. Four turn uh, heal block. That's not bad. But again, but he's gonna keep flying up and removing them. So I think if she's very, fa I, th I, well, I think her being very fast is a good thing for here, because this means she's gonna take a lot of turns and she's gonna keep prolonging those attack breaks too. But I think she needs to move after the attack breakers. But it's nice because we're gonna make it's. It kind of makes it, it seems like it should make it more reliable, since we're going to consistently have those attack breaks on there. Until he flies up and then takes him off because he's a dickhead. But it seems like it's doing good. Seems like it's doing good. How much contribution does she have? Oh, she's got a decent amount of contribution. Okay. Now he flies up and kills everything. And then she's gonna die. Someone countered. Who countered? Colleen? No. Diaz countered. All right, we got no def- Oh, we finally got- we got a defense break now, good. Ah, 
where did I even eat? Oh, Tijuana Flats. <laughs> Big surprise. Big surprise, I ate at Tijuana Flats. Big surprise. So she's doing good. I think she's... Is that shield really keeping her alive, though? I used the similar team. I didn't use her earlier, but I used the similar team. Damn, boy. Not doing bad. Not doing bad. She sta she's staying alive longer than I thought she was going to. Because, like I said, I didn't use her earlier. I used... I don't remember what I used. I used something else, but... She seems to be doing good. Brandeville. It's not doing bad. And she's got good... Well, she's apparently doing pretty good damage. At that speed. Also, she's faster than a lot of things, so she's taking... She's, she's doing damage and debuffs before uh, everyone else can. Not bad. Not bad. And I will actually use that one. Cool. Alright guys, uh, I think I gotta go finish TOA, don't I? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Wow, 25 minutes. Okay, that was longer than I thought it was gonna be. I was thinking it was gonna be like 15, 17 minutes. Whatever. I don't- it's- it's- whatever. Whatever. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you as always!